Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is seven o'clock in the morning and today is wash day. So here in Ghana, we have an option to wash with our hands. Um, it is much easier. Well, no, it's not easier. It's a little, it's a little hard. It's a little difficult, but it is less expensive. We use less water and less electricity. So we do wash with our hands here. So today, Sister Mary and I are gonna be washing. Um, Mom says she's gonna help, but I don't think she's gonna help. And so, this is how we wash clothes in Ghana. So we have two buckets here. So this one is what we're gonna use to wash the clothes. And then once we finish washing, we're gonna dump it in here to rinse. To be honest with you, I, I couldn't do this. Like, I think this is, I think this is a lot of work. Um, I, 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 I get the point, but I feel like this is a lot of work. I couldn't do this. I, I enjoy my washing machine. Um, and you know, when we move to Ghana, I think I'm probably going to purchase a washing machine because this is, this is a lot. My mom actually has a washing machine. But she doesn't use it. I think she probably used it maybe twice. Mommy, how come you don't use a washing machine? Mm -hmm. It takes so much water, electricity. Oh. So my mom doesn't use a washing machine because it, it takes a lot of water and washing and um, electricity. But um, I honestly, though I, I couldn't do this. It's a lot of work. <laughs> But Sister Mary is doing it so effortlessly. Oh, you're turning inside out. Okay, so she's turning inside out. Sister Mary, um, I need to know we'll turn it inside out. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I couldn't do this, guys. See, when you have your washing machine, you just toss it in there. Put your soap, your fabric softener, all in the same setting, and off you go. So this is actually one of the perks of living in the West, but it's still trash. Pasa means, um, like, what does pasa mean in English? It means wash, like, like wash. Wash it well, yeah. Hey, mom. Rope a dead. So when I was um, little, my my grandmother and my aunt, we, you know, they used to they used to do this. They used to wash clothes with their hands, and I used to do this also. So I'm not new to this, but I don't like to do it. I prefer not to. That a lot of people in the Caribbean do this as well. And India, this is actually not a new, this is not a, something that Africans do. I think everybody does this. Not everybody can afford a washing machine. Oh, yes, that's true. I've seen it before. Some people like use um, some kind of metal, some kind of, some metal thing and they put it inside of the bucket with the stone and they use yeah, it to like scrub to so they don't use their hand, which is actually smart. We should probably invest in that because my hands are struggling right now. Are you sure? Mm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so 
And well, this is what Sister Mary's doing. She's washing. And as you can see, she's doing a really good job doing this. I'm going to be a lefty. I mean, what's wrong with being a lefty in Ghana? Like, we are more open. We are more open. We are more open. Let me stand up. So, I'm going to be a lefty now. I'm going to be a lefty. 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 I can't even use my left to right. I have to use my right because they kept beating me up, but I'm a left hand. <laughs> Man, I can go for some of that village coconut. The coconut water in the village. Hi, mommy. relaxing. Um, this is actually relax relaxing. It's also a really good way to have um, conversation with your family, you know. I think I'm going to have my girls do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to well, I'm going to do this at home with my my girls in the summertime. So that um, it's nice for bonding, I think, you know. Since we've been out here, we've, we've talked about what we're having for breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner, what we need to do around the house. So it's actually a nice way to connect with your family.
So as we were washing, the um, yam seller stopped by. So we're gonna get some yam. Maybe we'll make some yam tonight. So here she is, and she's selling yams. So she's cutting it so that we can see that it's good. Mama, it's also Oh, Mama, Mary, so now we a Now my mom is in said it's kind of like in so like you know when we get the water from the well. Right, me consume. I would have been a good now, my mouth. When I was little, mm. yeah, remember I told you, I think I told you the story about the well. As I told you the well was so big, and I was looking down at the well. And my mommy do call her. Yeah, I could cool by an enemy. I mean, a lot of, but you know what's so funny, mommy? We, we think that, but a lot of kids was doing it because I can remember a lot of kids was doing it. Maybe they all can't eat in the air. It's definitely scary. Like, when I think about it now, it's definitely scary because if I was one of those kids that was actually, I was, that was real bad. Yeah, my mom was sweating. At the whole, my whole night, or one of my boys actually about to die. Yeah, it was a well like that. It was a well. Come on, oh my beauty. Yeah, but I mean, I, I guess she trusted me because, I, 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 yeah, I remember, I remember I, I went down there, looked down in the well like this. <laughs> what if I would have fell in? A ship. And I saw me come. I mean, I did a lot when I was little. Trust me, like, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. My childhood was filled with nothing but fun. <laughs> And it was all from the village. All my good experiences as a child was all from the village. I think I'm I think I'm I'm meant to live in the village, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I think I'll bring my washing machine in the village. <laughs> 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 I'll definitely bring my washing machine to the village because in the village, yeah, if I have a plug on. Can you have a <laughs> I remember one time we went to this other village, right? It was me and Jackie. It was um my my you know, okay, you guys um I don't know if you're gonna see this video before I upload the other video, but my family came over and my favorite auntie um <laughs> my favorite auntie is in the in the video. Oh, yeah. She's actually dancing. Auntie yeah. <laughs> she took me and my sister to some village. I don't know the name of that village, but I think it's her husband's village. So we my sister and I went to this village with my auntie. And um it was I think it was her husband's village. And we What what kind of village is that? You don't know the name of the village? I don't know, I don't know. No, it wasn't. I mean, I have no idea. I was like four or five. Edria Young Quanta. But that village, oh my God, that was probably one of the nicest villages I've ever went to. Why did you say that? Edria Young Quanta, never. Edria Young Quanta. Edria Young Quanta. Edria Young Quanta. So, mommy, you don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, say Edria Young Quanta. But the village was so nice. Like, it was a mango farm. We went to a mango farm. Mommy, when I tell you me and Jackie ate so much mango, mommy, we ate so much mango. We we probably would have, I, I think we ate like two big bags mm. of mango each. Because we had the fruit, eh? <laughs> Mommy, we ate so much mango, like we ate so, that's all we ate the whole day. Mommy, plus we brought some home. And we ate that you. too. Mommy, do you know we were sick for like two weeks? Yeah. <clears throat> we... We were mm -hmm. so we were so sick. We kept throwing up. We kept, you know what, going to the bathroom. But mommy, when I tell you, I do not regret that going to that village. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. My childhood was. 
Guys, comment below where you're, where you're from. Like what part of Ghana, what village you're from. And just give us a little story about what you did as a child in the village. You talking to? I'm talking to whoever's watching. Just let us know what kind of games you played in the village, what kind of food you ate, all the experiences that you had in the village, whether good or bad. Share it with us. So we are gonna continue washing. Um, we're just about done. Sister Mary's usually really, really fast, but I think I'm slowing her down today, but it's okay, because I wanted to help her out today. Um, so thank you for watching. And I, I notice a lot of people are watching my videos, guys. Just please make sure you like. If you like the video, like it. Um, share it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let's cast it some water. We're gonna do a second rinse and then we're gonna um, shrink them and place them on the clothesline. It rained real heavy last night. When it rains in Ghana, my goodness, it's like, um, if you're not familiar with Ghana and you hear the rain, you may be, you might get scared because the way it rains in Ghana, it's like, it's crazy. It rains really, really heavy in Ghana. But I love it when it rains. I had a good night. It rained all last night. And you sleep like a baby when it rains. So to be honest with you guys, I do not get up this early in Ghana, but I wanted to record um, how we wash um, in Ghana. So I woke up super early today. I think I woke up like 6, 6.30. Um, to, and when I'm in Ghana, I do not wake up this early. I think the earliest that I can wake up is probably 10. But mostly it's around, I wake up around 11 or 12 because I'm really not doing anything, you know? But on days that I have to go to the village, um, <clears throat> I wake up as early as 4 a.m. because I have to catch the bus um, to the village, which is like about an hour and 30 minute um, drive. So um, I, I wanna get there as early as possible so that I can kind of like assess the morning routines, if it's consistent, you know, how, how you know the animals are being cleaned, the rooms, um, the animal feed, just the whole process in the morning. So um, that's the only time that I would wake up like around 4 a.m. But generally speaking, I am not up this <laughs> early. So, <clears throat> excuse the groggy voice, I literally, um, just woke up. 